So yeah, uh, right now I'm doing the drops, it's very repetitive. Uh, later on I'm going to show you how I do the bass, how I figure out the notes of the bass, which I'm going to, basically I'm going to tell you right now, and you're going to see it later. So you open up a frequency analyzer, in this case I'm using a Fruity Equalizer 2, uh, any uh, any frequency analyzer I use I use a Fels built-in frequency analyzer because it's it allows you to choose between the audio uh, waveform or the harmonics harmonics are individual pitches okay an harmonic is a pitch think of it as a sine wave because one single harmonic is essentially a sine wave and a multitude, a multitude, a multitude of sine waves uh, of different pitches and different volumes give a timbre to a sound. So all the all the sounds basically have the lower frequencies, which are well, the lowest frequency of the sound is of the harmonic is called the fundamental harmonic, which is the harmonic that gives the sound its note. So everything above that are just called up harmonics. And almost every sound is made of a fundamental harmonic and the first harmonic that you're gonna see after the fundamental is gonna be one octave above it. In the case of the bass, there is also a fifth in between these two octaves, the fundamental and the octave above. There is also a fifth, so think of it like C, C the octave above, and in between there is G. In the case of the bass, in the case of the electric guitar too, I believe. But most sounds, like your voice, has a fundamental and one octave above it, and then all the other harmonics above in different um, ratios maybe they're not all they're not just an octave an octave an octave or a fifth a fifth a fifth above and so on but they're also a third a second a seventh and just a multitude a multitude of various fundamental uh, various harmonics and the higher harmonics give the timber the sound basically the definition of the sound and the lower ones are just whatever right so, but every fun, every harmonic is just a sine wave of different volume and different pitches. So they are all sine waves put together. Thanks to this, I was able to, first of all, guess the notes of the bass, because after a while you actually get good at recognizing which notes are being played, but I'm still using this tool to I'll check if I was actually right or if I was wrong, as you can see right here now in the screen. So, uh, what I'm doing is I'm just creating a small notch and I'm amplifying the moving harmonic that I see in the bass range. Because that moving harmonic is just bass, you know, there's nothing else moving, as I said in the previous video. The lowest, the lower frequencies, there is only a kick, a snare, and just a bass, and maybe the toms. Yeah, I mean, not maybe, but also the toms if there are playing any. Um, so, yeah, I'm seeing this fundamental, this harmonic that's moving, which is also the fundamental of the bass. And I was just doing it like this and guessing and checking if I was right and whatnot. And this, as I told you, before in the previous video this is very easy it's not it's nothing difficult to do so it just gets some used to some getting used to here i'm just i was just telling you about how you can do it and how i was doing it but i just told you so yeah hopefully in the next video i'm not gonna have any audio issues and yeah see you next time